our Isle of Capri pacing series final eight behind the gate. It's post time. This field is in motion. Here they come. And there they go. From mid-pack, the paper wazoo into his outside flank, hustled off the car quickly as Manard Howard. Also on the move is timeshare. Paper wazoo is off stride. Down along the inside, Rick's Royal matches way third. Along the pylons, Chief Park Row comes away fourth. Sadie's Dreamboat takes a seat. Then we come back to Ludwig Pond Beethoven, back pacing along the inside. The paper wazoo and on the outside, General Man Arthur. Bend around the first turn, head toward the opening quarter. Manard Howard has the lead. Opening quarter in a blazing 26 and 3. In front of the grandstand, First time, Menard Howard and Kevin Wallace call the shots. They've got the later line. Timeshare, a tight pocket second. That pair has five lengths on Rick's Royal Match. Another two back to Chief Park Row. Two more to Sadie's Dream Date. Then comes Ludwig Pond Beethoven, the paper wazoo, and General Matt Arthur trails the field eighth. They speed over toward the half mile station. Manard Howard on the point. He's got the lead of line. Timeshare, itchy the pocket second. They're by the half and 55 and one. Straighten up down the back stretch. Manard Howard the inside. Case pulls the trigger on timeshare, and he moves from the pocket to challenge. On the outside, moving up is Chief Park Row. Down along the inside is Rick's Royal Match. Into the outside flow is Sadie's Dreamboat. Up on the rim comes Ludwig Pond Beethoven, the paper wazoo, and General Matt Arthur. By five eights head toward three quarters. Manard Howard the inside. Timeshare the outside. Slug it out for the lead. In striking position is Chief Park Row. Three quarters in one, 23 and one. Head into the paddock turn, final time. Manard Howard, dead game at the rail. Timeshare is right at him second. Chief Park Row moves three wide. Four wide. Here comes Sadie's Dreamboat. Less than an eighth of a mile. The pace they're on their way home. Manard Howard cuts the corner with a short lead. Timeshare continues to challenge. On the outside, here comes Sadie's Dreamboat. Three across the track. Manard Howard. Timeshare between horses. Rough gated. Sadie's Dreamboat and Daryl Beer to win it all. Second, number seven, Time Sharon, and finishing third, number five, Menard Howard. Then, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now being draped with the uh, blanket representative of victory in the Isle of Capri uh, pacing uh, series, the unofficial winner of tonight's ninth race, number six, Sadie's Dreamboat. A yeah, five-year-old brown horse by Cam's Card Shark from the oil burner mare, Dal Jones. Owned by Michael Semiglia of Lindenhurst, Ohio. Trained by Gary Baker and expertly driven to victory by Daryl Beer. The time, 1.52 and 2, is a seasonal best for Sadie's Dreamboat and a back-to-back -back driving double for Daryl Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, the connections moving into the infield winner's enclosure, and there will be a trophy presentation emblematic of victory in the Isle of Capri, and making that presentation will be Alan Solomon, who tonight is celebrating his 65th birthday here at Pompano Park. He'll be joined by Alan Glazer, Greg Guida, Mike Brophy, Jim Patton, and Christopher Abraham. Congratulations to the Sadie's Dreamboat Connections owner Mike Semiglio of Ohio, trainer Gary Baker, and Pompano Park's own Daryl Beer, victorious in the third annual Isle of the Capri Pacing Series Final.
Number six, Sadie's Dreamboat Urace winner. Number seven, Time Sharon second, and number eight, General Man Arthur finished sixth. Final $162,000, and on the far right, Alan Solomon, treasurer. First of all, happy birthday, and I know you can do some congratulations on this great race. Thank you. We're so proud this race, and to see someone is from Pompano and races in Pompano win is especially rewarding to us. Thank you, Alan, and we're with the winning driver, Daryl Beer, and the winning trainer, Gary Baker, and it is a local representative of sorts, because, Gary Baker, you chose Chimeglio Sadie's Dreamboat. Our open every week, and to a one three win. He did it the first two legs of the series, and you that you were hoping for in the final, didn't you? Right. Well, everything worked his way, but uh, we had so, sort of a game plan. Mike called me up through a friend, and uh, we thought we'd get the horse down here. I trained him down. Uh, he got four or five prep races over the track, and I think he had a big advantage. He was really great. I mean, he was in peak form, and uh, Mike never put any pressure on me. We kind of raced him into shape. And uh, Daryl and I were pretty confident if, you know, if he could work out a decent trip that he was pretty much peaking for this race. I wasn't standing. He's six and three. I was kind of happy. And then when Walter was in the two hole with the one to five, I figured, you know, when they came down the back, he'd have to come. And, you know, just everything went his way. Daryl was real patient, you know, never fanned him till he did. And, uh, you know, popped up. Patience got rewarded, Daryl. I knew that Walter Case was going to have to make some kind of move out of the two hole earlier than they might usually expect. Kevin Wallace was backing him into him pretty good after the half and 55 and one. They did go head to head back down the backside, and that worked to your advantage, didn't it? Yeah, we definitely needed that. And uh, well, actually, the papers at Razu had some hard luck. I mean, everything just went our way. God was with us. It really, it worked out just fantastic. We've talked several times in the course of this week in preparation for this big final race, and you had hoped that it would go this way if it did you thought you had a legitimate shot it played out didn't it I really did the guy on the radio station asked us last night I said you know he really does have a big shot we did the right thing with him last week he had the eight hole we raced him from behind and he picked up a lot of lengths and I said boy you know a smaller field he, he draws in a little closer he's got a really good shot you know we had magic 102.7 out here last night we had the bud girls here tonight we had the beach towels giveaways we had the live calypso band we tried to do it right for this weekend Right, but always the star is the horse himself and the people involved with the horse. And in 152 and 2, congratulations to winning driver Daryl Beer, trainer Gary Baker, and Sadie's Dreamboat, the third winner of the Isle of Capri, this edition 2001.